The AC-130 Hercules is one of the most recognizable planes in the U.S. Air Force. The upgraded version of the heavy transport aircraft still has the impressive shell, but with significant upgrades that make this a dangerous as well as useful way to fly. Let's take a closer look at just how powerful the AC-130J Ghost Rider is. The Ghost Rider is a modified version of the MC-130J aircraft and is the replacement for the U.S. Air Force's AC-130HU. The first MC-130J arrived at Eglin Air Force Base to be converted into the AC-130J configuration in January 2013. A few months earlier, it had officially been given the name Ghost Rider. The first test flight of the AC-130J Ghost Rider was executed at the start of 2014. Then, the Air Force Special Operations Command received the first Ghost Rider for operational testing in July 2015. The AC-130J Ghost Rider uses the flying proficiencies of the MC-130J and the air-to-ground combat capabilities of the AC-130. It's been introduced to provide continuous strike operations, including close air support for troops in contact, convoy escort, and point air defense. Deep air support missions are carried out against pre-planned targets and targets of opportunity. The aircraft is capable of refueling mid-air with the Universal Air Refueling Receptacle Slipway Installation System, but it is not fitted with the external hose and drogue pods needed for refueling other aircraft. For such a large plane, a significant power plant needs to be present. The aircraft has four Rolls-Royce AE2100 D3 turboprops with a thrust power of 3,458 kilowatts each. Each of the AE2100 D3 engines is 3.15 meters in length and 0.73 meters in diameter. The aircraft can reach a max distance of 3,000 miles without refueling and is capable of flying at a speed of 362 knots at 22,000 feet altitude. The AC-130J has a massive overall length of 29.3 meters, with a height of 11.9 meters and a wingspan of 39.7 meters. It can fly at an altitude of 28,000 feet, complete with a payload of 42,000 pounds. Its maximum total takeoff weight is 164,000 pounds. One of the most significant upgrades the aircraft has is its armament. The United States Special Operations Command developed and installed the Modular Precision Strike Package for the AC-130J. The armament kits under this package include a 30mm GAU-23 automatic side-firing chain gun, a 105mm cannon, and standoff precision-guided munitions featuring wing-mounted GBU-39 small-diameter bombs and AGM-176 Griffin laser-guided missiles. The internally mounted missiles can also be launched through the rear cargo door if required. The package also includes intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance equipment. On top of all of these features, the aircraft is also equipped with advanced fire control equipment. Since the initial delivery of the Ghost Rider, there have been constant efforts to improve it with several updates. A significant milestone in development was completed when the initial operational capacity for 16 aircraft of the AC-130J Ghost Rider fleet was achieved in September 2017. The 73rd Special Operations Squadron, the first Ghost Rider assigned squadron, was activated on February 23, 2018 in Florida. Then, the first upgraded Block 30 AC-130J Ghost Rider was delivered to the U.S. Air Force Special Operations Command in March 2019 with its first-ever combat mission in Afghanistan being carried out in June 2019. With constant improvements, the AC-130J is an exciting prospect for the near future, and it's clear that the Air Force isn't done with development quite yet. Despite the fact the Ghost Rider packs a huge punch in terms of firepower, there are plans afoot to mount directed energy weapons on it too. That means it's likely to feature a laser. A high-energy laser would provide a way to shoot down missiles or disable enemy electronics with stealth, as enemy forces would be unable to see the laser 
as it beams from the gunship. Lockheed Martin was awarded a contract to integrate the laser with the AC-130 in January 2019. However, the ultimate future of the program remains unclear. What do you think about the AC-130J? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Spotlight for more. Thanks for watching.